Last time on the Rude Devil Yada 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 Show. <gasps> Fall Long, why are you doing this to me? Fall Long, you, you can't. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Look, he just invented his own animation there. You can't run and swing with one hand. <laughs> what? Hello everybody, I'm Red Devil and welcome to the project to bring back Nancy Reagan. Just kidding, it's just a fortress defense. Nothing so awesome today. Anyway, this uh this is a custom map made out of the blue, seemingly, by Thran. You guys should know him. He's uh one of those 202 scrubs. He was actually the runner-up in the um Sons of Durin Cup. Um, and yeah, he made a, uh, fort defense map, and uh, I'm just gonna be taking you through it, seeing how we get on. We're gonna be playing as lots of different factions, so, uh, don't worry. And yes, there will be time to play all the different factions, because I'm not gonna get very far. Uh, my sources tell me that there's 20 waves, and I think I've got to, like, wave 8, maybe. Maybe a bit more. Uh, so don't worry, we'll play through the different factions. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the download, um, I, I hope, maybe. And, um... Yeah, let's get to it. I actually forgot to put it on low. I hope it's not gonna fuck up, actually. <laughs> it probably will. Also, yeah, Thran's clearly showing off because he's actually got the Biffy 2 campaign script, like, in there. Although it's not mapped to the plant here, I've just noticed. It's a big box. What the hell, Thran? Supposed to do it right or not at all? That's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, do 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 do. We won't get anything. We're gonna get fires, boiling oil, that. Okay. So this is the fortress defense. Um, it is. It does feature up to four players, but we're just playing solo. And when we're we're down here in this position, so they're gonna spawn from here. If you capture the signal fire. You do get Tom Bombadil as a, um, as a, uh, unlockable, while well, he just, like, sort of spawns out of the blue. Yes, he can die, um, but it is, like, Age of the Ring, uh, Bombadil, so he does have that invulnerability. Shit, we need Pikeman, we need Pikeman, we need Pikeman! So, yeah, there is actually, um, there are strategies to beating all this, but it is very difficult. In fact, Thran himself, I mean, he made the fucking map, but Thran himself, uh, says that he actually hasn't beaten it, so it doesn't really bode well. Anyway, so I like to go with dormitories because I like to um, make archers and then get fire arrows. And then basically, oh shit, we needed a stone worker, that's right. I was just about to say, and then we get a stone worker, realizing we haven't made a stone worker. There we go. Stone worker is useful because obviously it buffs our goddamn buildings and it's a fortress defense, so yeah, obviously we want that. Alright, so Pepin, have you captured that? He has. So yeah, wave starts in 30. 20 seconds we get Big Bomber Dildo. And uh, you can make resource buildings, but there isn't that much space. However, if you sort of just put it away from where the enemy spawns, uh, it should be fine. It should be fine. Rest your balls, Rest your balls man. Some weird fucked up accent you got there, but hey. Alright. There he is. Okay. So basically we need to use this guy a lot because there are certain dudes we need to knock down. Otherwise we just fucking die, which is a bit annoying. It's, I mean, in the heat of the moment, you're not going to be able to uh, knock down everyone. So it's, it's, I don't know, it's difficult, but hey, Bombadillo's here. Also, one thing I don't really like is that this is a no entry. You can't really bottleneck this. And I understand why you can't do that, because obviously it'd make it a bit too easy. But like... Oh shit, here we go. Sonic Song! Uh, I am playing on high, I'll put it down for uh, lower playthroughs, but I've just already started. Alright, let's retreat. And we will boiling oil no jutsu this bitch. Also, Pippin, you're not supposed to be in there. What's the range on this, by the way? Oh, that sweet dog of mine. So yeah, we got, um, we got the Houses of Healing, because you need, you need to be constantly healing, dude. You need to be constantly healing, otherwise you're just going to lose. You're going to lose all your heroes, you're going to lose all your troops. And, um, yeah, okay, whatever, Bombadil. Alright, uh, I guess we can go with that. We're just going to keep making towers. And our better space. 
Alright, so this one's got two dudes in there. That's got nothing in there, shit. Hurry up, goddammit! Shouldn't be taking this long. Alright, here's wave two. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's Gothmog! We probably could have insta-killed him. Master Pippin has fallen! So yeah, I just kind of want the no entry to be pushed back a bit more because... Sometimes there's like, you only have melee only troops and there'll be trebuchets in the no... No go zone. And it's just kind of annoying, you know? We've improved the archery range! Alright, so we've got fire arrows, we've got boiling oil. That's really our ace in the hole. And oh my god, we're still alive. That's two waves down. My sweet dick is magic. We're gonna get the sentries because I'm pretty sure... Basically, the more stuff we can make... Basically, the more stuff we can make that distracts them from our fortress is uh, it's just a plus in my eyes. They'd be small. How many children to your eyes? Also, you get money per wave. You get money per wave, but you can also generate money. Oh, okay, this is this is the uh, this is this this is the this is the difficult wave. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna lure him in. I'm actually gonna lure him in because um, we need to knock over Morgamir. Uh, there we go. My sweet dick is magic. Bombadil Sonic Song! Gadoosh! Gadoosh is the official onomatopoeia. Don't at me. Alright. Now, Boiling Oil's got a pretty uh, short cooldown on Age of the Ring, which is nice. But you will get to the point where. Um... Okay, please. No, no, no. Hit him, you idiot. Hit Morgamir. He is a building killer and he can disable our fortress. Oh, hold on. Killed a builder. Well, you know what? So long as you don't kill uh, my stuff, my buildings, then you can kill as many builders as you want. Also, you can. I... Archers! I think we'll save the rebuild for when the fortress is actually in trouble. Because, uh... Oh, you bastard. Press your balls, man. Okay. Morgamir is still alive. No, I keep hitting Q like an idiot. Oh, there's already a dude in there. Oh, yes. Okay. It will provide cover. It will provide cover. Well, Alright, we need more towers. Let's get to work. More pikes. And always more archers. Oh, shit. They're here. Oh, my God. It's bloody Isengard. No. Alright, bait him in. Bait him in. Bait him in for the boiling oil. And... Oh, shit. Battering rams. No, 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 no. Get out of my way. Focus. Focus the battering rams. Focus the battering rams. Focus the god. What are you... You must be in range. No, don't Sonic Song the battering ram. Okay, we will be playing very low after this. It isn't meant to go this slow. I do apologize. It was just like, I couldn't be asked to back out. You know how long backing out takes? It takes a full 20 seconds. No one got time for that. And come on, come on, come on. Uh. There, yeah, sometimes these trebuchets, they can be in like... They can be out of bounds. Oh my god. Savage. Alright, they're not doing that much damage. That's fine. Hell yeah! I don't know what wave that is. Let's say it's... No, my blacksmith! You dicks! That costs money. I am not losing a tower. My words are bullshit. As the mighty Sean Power once said. Those aren't boots, mate. 
Oh my goodness, Isengard really need to fuck off. Look how tanky he is. It must have raised the stats. I don't think he's meant to take that many uh, arrows, you know? You can't build there! <laughs> okay, we got the pikemen. The pikemen, I just- I feel sorry for the pikemen. They just feel like cannon fodder. And I don't mean to be using them like cannon- OH MY GOD, BOMBADIL! Alright, Bombadil, you get healed. Let's get that healing factor going on. Alright, next wave. Uh Christ on a bicycle. I don't think boiling oil does much to Cav, so... We've improved the smithy! Should have really rebuilt these. Oh my god, that healing factor is so beautiful, though. Something, something, hear us. Oh, does he say Harkon now? Okay. Bloody old English. You know, Lord of the Rings is so, uh, antiquated, you know? Sometimes they don't say, you know, the, and they say thee, and thou, and art, and I don't get it. Okay. Oh, I'm so fucking good. Wait, what the hell? What are these? Oh, they're Morgul Vanguard. No, 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 please, no, I built money! I built money? I, I spent money. I built money. You know what? I'm not gonna attack him. Although he is trampling my stuff. Alright, we want Numenor in stonework. 1500, okay. Okay, I guess we will kill him. If he's just gonna run into our pikes, then we'll get him. Look at these towers, though. I mean, yeah, it's good because they distract from the, uh... They distract from the fortress. Oh, freeze. Oh, no, we're good. They distract from the fortress, but like... You know, I, I don't want to lose my towers. <laughs> Alright, we need archers. We're just gonna keep making them. We're getting Numenor and Stonework. Uh, the buff could be good. Oh my goodness! Okay, Thran. Thran, I know you're from Iran and you're friends with the Ayatollah, but... Fuck off! There, yeah, you can do fuck off with anything. You can do it with Word of Power, you can do it with Sonic Song, you can even do it with the uh, Horn of Gondor if you really want, but it's... It's not quite the same. Oh my goodness! Oh shit, Andromeda Trolls. His songs are sometimes songs, that's what I heard there. When Bombadil can't quite remember the the words to his favorite song. Alright, we need to we need to fall back, because this is annoying. Need to fall back. Unleash hell. Please, please, it's an AoE, right? It should still hit. Oh my goodness. That, no, my tower! Yeah, we'll play on very low. <laughs> I, f I, oh shit, no, Bombadil, what are you dancing in there for? You can leave your friends behind, but if they don't dance, then they don't dance, then they are no friends of mine. Wait, hold on. Oh shit. You know what they su You know how they survived? It's because the drama troll's giving him leadership, I just realized. Ah, oh, that's a dick move. Yeah, okay, we're losing a lot of un we're taking a lot of unnecessary casualties. Yeah, okay. It would have been a lot better if I had focused fired. Or if I had just focused the drama trolls. Because drama trolls give armor, don't they? They never caught him yet. Alright, come on. No, you can't just do whatever you want. Haha, ha, Eastlingo. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we all risk boiling oil at the end of the wave. We need more shit. We need builders, actually. If they didn't do so much structure damage, I would have just left these guys alive, but... Oh, thank god. It takes so long to build towers, though. We're gonna get another one, just in case. I mean, not just in case, but I know we need one. Okay. Numenor and Stonework, the fortress is still good, but these two- these two things need to be need to be repaired. Words are tarred. Words- words- <laughs> Words, tarred. Wow, I think I might be high today. 
And thank god he's dead. Okay. Okay, you know what? I believe in you. You are soldiers of John Dor. No matter what giant 60 ton beast is coming your way, you will stand your ground. Ho oh, ho! The bullshit speech worked! Could I be Jesus? Maybe. Wait, what else we got? Building supplies here! I don't know why I do it in a high pitch voice. Don't ask. Don't comment why do you do it in a high pitch voice. Because I don't know, alright? Oh no! Big. A big ding dong dillo, don't. This would be so much easier if we got power points as well. Oh, we got Gondor Archers in here, right? Arnorian. That's not one, okay. Soldiers of the Regiment. The Nat. Is the Nat. Of Knights. No, 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 no! Well, that's what she said. Alright, come on! Oh, shit, 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 shit. No, no, no. Come on, you can't just. No! Please, I need these towers! Fire Drake? Oh, wait, it can't just start a new wave! I'm not done! Are you out of your. You must be out of your cotton picking mind. Bergond! We need you to buff towers and things. And go. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's right, the Arnold wave's coming up. This isn't gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, uh, Gundabad Berserk is level 5. I, I want to get them in the tower, but there's no way the archers can make it there. Alright, come on, a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, that's close enough. Wait, no, this is a mistake. Can we cancel that? There we go. We want them to be set on fire, then we push them back. Alright, go. Alright, now. Giant. Giant. Everyone hit the giant. 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 Something hit the giant. Giant. No, I don't care. I don't care how scary those dragons are. Wait, what are they hitting? They're hitting the tower attachment. Ah, <laughs> You're still just zeros and ones. Why would you send four? Oh no, Thran. I'm gonna call you something nasty next time I see you. Come on, it shouldn't take this long to kill them. Unless for some some reason you felt like buffing the uh the thingies. That's Sheila, right? Hey Baragon, do you have a bow? Use it. This time for Africa, da 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 da. Eh eh, Numenor and Stonework, eh eh, dum ba dum ba dum, eh eh. Oh, this time we fucking won, da ba da ba da. That, that's, that's kind of the song I, I. That's the song I hear when I see Bombadil dance. <gasps> no, why? You sack of crap! Don't you, Baragon, no. Baragon, don't you die. You're not allowed. Okay. We need more archers, dude. We need them. Bloody. You can kill them fast enough, it's just I wasn't fast enough. Yes, me lord. Ready for work. Off I go, then. Alright. No, we didn't get money! Why? Oh, this is the Arnold wave. Well, it's been an honor, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is, this is where I always die. Because basically he like sends all the on our heroes. I haven't been keeping count. I don't know what wave this is. Alright. Builder, you want to run? You want to run too? There, we have enough to get one more archer. Hey, Baragon's level 2 in that little tower of his. Okay, now which one has the Palantir? I forget. Is it these dudes? Because basically, if he smashes the planter, if you remember from the campaign, if he smashes the, the the planter, we just lose everything. And I don't know which one it is. I think it's the ones in the gold armor. So we're just gonna like sort of knock him down, do some funny shit. 
And yes, I saw the trebuchets. Do you think the eyes of the white memes are blind? Oh no, it's this dude. I think it's this, it's this dude. The guy that's... Derping out. There we go. That's some rag doll for you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's great. How the hell are we supposed to kill that much? The trebuchets were just... Yeah, the trebuchets were nasty. The trebuchets were a dick move. Yeah, the trebuchets are a real dick move. Because, like, look how far back they are. I can't even get them. Maybe if I Sonic Song them. Oh! That's how we do it! Okay. Alright, now where's the dude that... Where's the dude that just yeets everything? Oh, so I lost I lost 90% of my towers. I lost both my builders. Yeah. We're supposed to get like money after each wave, but like Oh no, here he is, this is the dude that smashes it. Like it, it just kept spawning the new waves. I don't get it. It's weird. I think it's this dude. I'm hoping it's this dude. It wouldn't it wouldn't be the one that's three of them. May I'll make you immune. Fuck you. Damn, I lost my two dormitories here as well. Baragons, you need to leave. Alright, Baragond. That is enough! Damn, you killed both of them, Baragon. Nice. So he buffs buildings level 7, that's why I got him. Maybe I spent all my money on, um... I think maybe I spent too much of my money on towers, but... Going full dormitories doesn't work in my, in my experience, so... Wait, it froze. Okay, I thought he did the thing. There he goes! Dude, it takes so long to make towers. It's insane. Yeah, we, we, we're so fucked for this wave. Like, it's not even close. We're so fucked. Oh, it's a dwarf wave. Oh, no, Gloin's gonna... Gloin is probably programmed for Shake Foundation. Probably programmed for that. Command me, Lord. Yes, my lord. Ready to work. Inside. Which means we have to boiling oil fast. Maybe we can knock him over, actually. If he shakes foundation, then we can't... There we go. Alright. Hit that, hit that, hit that. Now would be a good time to have Galadriel's invulnerability, don't you think? Come on, beloved stone worker of death. Save me in my darkest hour. Bombadil, no, you can't die. You're too beautiful. Get out of the way! Basically, Bombadil is key, which I think is another, like, weakness of this uh, map. Is that if you lose Bombadil, you're so fucked. Alright, so most of the doors burned. So not... Not lore inaccurate yet. No! Please, no! We need more money! Where, where, what wave was it where I lost the most? Those Moomax took out a few towers and they really shouldn't have. I think that was one. Um, and then, yeah, the Arnold wave just fucked me. Bombadil, you're not even in range of the heal. Come on! What is... I don't give a shit! Okay, maybe I do a bit. No! Well, that, d that this dwarf wave is barbaric. All right, Bombadil, quickly go back in. Rebuild's not back. Why isn't it not back? If it wasn't for Stoneworker, this thing would be down so quickly. No, 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 no! 
Yes, Bombadil Clutch! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! I do not believe that. Bombadil got in in the last second to knock him back. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That was insane. Although we're not out of the woods yet. We've still got Big Mangaloin. You know, if you want to level up... Oh no, we lost the Stonewalker! Wait, is that Dane? Mother f You sent in two Danes?! Oh my goodness. I think that might be GG. How did I not how did I not notice him? Oh yeah, because he looks the fucking same as every other guardian in here. Like losing losing Baragon's fine, we could just make him again, but we can't bring back Bombadil. Shit, it's not just two Danes. There's four. Four in my fucking base. Although I'm not giving up. How much is the stone worker? Ooh, only eight hundred. Although I'll be I'll be shocked. Yep, here it goes. One more hit. Oh no! <laughs> How tragic! And then he puts in the fucking the just just mocking you at the end there. There's no need for that, Thran. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn down my settings. Come back as a different faction. I'll be right back. So to balance it for Doggledore, he actually uh, removed the Spire of Sorcery. Which is a massive dick move, I mean... Um... Oh, I probably should have gone for Dark Encroachment. Oh well, whatever. But yeah, Doggledore without... Oh shit, we should get Bombadil as well. Bomb... Uh, words. Do Doggledore without Spire of Sorcery is not Doggledore, it's just incomplete. But I do understand why I didn't put it in, because it was... Um... I mean, I mean, it would just make it way too easy. Like, basically, it just, like, every unit you lose to a white just compounds your defeat. Okay. Um, we're just going to go for the Orc um, Hunters. Go for the Orc Hunters. I was going to go for the, uh, the Blighted Trappers. But I feel like they're actually better for uh, structure damage and single units. So they'd be good against heroes, I guess, but... Fuck if we're going to prioritize that. So honestly, I don't know how well this is going to go. I know Jenkins has had pretty good luck with the um, Doggledore. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Well, I, I don't know what... I, I should keep count because like the, the Dwarf Wave last time that we lost here, I think that was like Wave 10 or something. Oh, right, we need Fires. There we go. There is, I mean, there is an attachment on the fortress where you can get Risen Dead, but it is very expensive because when you buy it, you then have to research the Risen Dead upgrade on it. And even then, they're like the cooldown when you summon Risen Dead isn't that good. So, yeah, not sure how good that is. All right, we're gonna make the Necromancer. We're gonna try and level that bad boy up. If we can get, uh, if we can get Crimple for the summon. And then the queen for her, um, her descent, or whatever the ability is called. Okay. Shit, it's not doing the bloody upgrade, I hate that. You can't build and get upgrades at the same time, it's so stupid. Alright, I think we'll just use our power here. So the Doggledore Fortress, even though we don't get boiling oil... Oh my god, Thrain's already dead already. Even though we don't get boiling oil, it is still one of the tankiest fortresses in the game, I'm pretty sure. And if we can just get that Convert Allegiance power, then that'd be pretty sweet. And we've got the, uh, we've got the Iron Plating now, we've got Blight, which means all units... All units that uh, die around the fortress become whites. So basically, the fortress itself is its own, um, is its own, what do you want to call it? Um. Wait, so am I. So am I. But it's its own, uh, Spire of Sorcery, just, you know, not as effective. Alright, so that's wave one done. And it was really a shame we didn't get, uh, Necromancer out, because, yeah, we could have leveled up so fast with that. 
Merry Ding Dong Dilo! Probably should have saved it, but don't worry, Necromancer's gonna level up. No, don't run away, you idiot. And... Why does he always face away, you imbecile? It's like, oh, there's two orcs behind me. Better get them rather than the 500 in front of me. There we go. Now, this is why I put the game on very low. <laughs> because there's Risen Dead and Whites for days now. Time to fight. So glad he's saying fight. Alright, it's so Necromancer level 5. Alright, Necromancer, you might just want to stay here. Because you're done very fast. The whites are really going to make this easy. Well, not easy, but easier. Also, I, it's, I don't really use orc hunters that much. I don't really use the regular orcs for Dogodor. I didn't know they just went... <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me, I'm just saying. Also, he called us maggots, not the F version of that. Don't worry about it. Oh, they're just sitting there. No, you bastard, we could have chased that. All right, we're getting the Convert Allegiance. Uh, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, 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 Hunter. How much are these Hunters? How much am I wasting here? Oh, 191. Oh my god, they're so cheap. Meg, hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Okay. They bear the pits of shit your pants. All right, no, Morgan, 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 knock him over. Knock him over! We are not one. Uh, in your sweet deck. More meat for the- Oh my god. AC-130 above. You know what? I don't like these guys. I like skeletons more. I mean, they are- They are from Rudal. What did they expect was gonna happen? Oh no! Their health is too high. We need to wound them and then do it. Sad face. Also, I don't think we have a healing aura around, but somehow Necromancer's level 10. Oh no, I think when you play an evil faction, you get a well in your base. I remember reading that in the thing. This is a really solid map, by the way. So these guys won't degrade, because, uh, well, they're close to all these structures, so you don't need to worry about that. Really, Morgamir, you just had to do it. You little slut. Uh. Okay, so it's disabled because Morgamir just wanted to be a little shitbag. Which is fine, I guess. You can be allowed to be a shitbag, just not in my dojo. Alright, level 8 Necromancer. Stand back, I got this. Alright, there's Ballista. There's Ballista and there's, uh, whatchamacallits. Whatchamacallits are the official word. Battering Rams, that's what I'm thinking. And... <laughs> The flames will rise. Anyone remember the flame tank from uh, Commander Conquer? Yeah, you yeah, do. Also, I did I did notice that this thing is on half health. I'm not sure what was hitting it to get on half health, but that's annoying. We need we don't have a rebuild, so this uh, the fact that it's on half health after like four waves is actually pretty concerning. Could you not fucking hit two different ones at once? They are reducing us to rubble. We are low on the sources. More rogues from the dungeons. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We're low on money and the fortress is damaged. I don't know how the fortress got so badly damaged. Was there seriously just Hawaldar and what's his face doing all that? Also, Bombadil is poisoned, and I'm pretty sure it's because of that fucking worm tongue. 
did he just do there? He just took my necromancer! No! You absolute fruitcake. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. See, I knew he did that as well, because I've heard people complain that he does that. But I, I, I just escaped my mind, goddammit. Oh, man. That is real obnoxious, not gonna lie. Well, technically we can just farm him back, because Lurtz isn't gonna die anytime soon, I don't think he's doing any damage. No, he's doing hardly any damage, okay. Alright. So the rebuild won't start on this for a fucking while. Where is this well? Is this the well? No, where's the well? Bombadil, heal. I command you to heal. Where's this well? Where's this well? Like, unless the well is inside the base, like, underneath the fortress. No, I don't know why he's not healing. That's that could that could be bad, honestly. Oh man, yeah. I even knew he did that, and I just let it happen for some reason. Oh, that's so annoying. How much is he, he, the thing is with Necromancer is that. He takes so long to revive. It takes so long. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I think I think it I think it will be fine. Well, I think I think on other runs it will be fine because I don't think we'll take so much damage with this, and I won't lose Necromancer. Definitely trial and error this run. That's really okay though. Why the hell aren't you healing? Where the fuck is this goddamn well? Hey, you mind if I take those? Wait, no, they're heroic units. I don't think you can... I don't think you can! Oh no! Run! Yeah, we'll take those. We'll take what we can get. Thank you. Kill these. Go! Man, Kamal just dies so quickly in this, by the way. Although they were Morgul Vanguard, so maybe I shouldn't be too harsh on them. Look how tanky these Morgul Vanguard are! Alright, we can get Necromancer back. Um, let's get some Tomb Guard. <laughs> let's get some Tomb Guard, literally gets one. Please get in, please get in, please get in. No, they didn't get in. So yeah, Doggledore definitely has a lot of strengths with his fortress defense. It's just I've done this I've, I've done this a little a little badly. If I was to do this immediately again, it would go a lot better. Alright, we got Tomb Guard. Tomb Guard or anti large. Come on, here we go, here we go. I say anti large, it isn't Warhammer. Or isn't Total War, but hey. Brilliant. Okay, yep, we actually need more of these. Alright, Kumul's back. This thing's got a pretty short cooldown. But Bombadil is not healing and it's making me nervous. If he dies, we're fucked! Yeah, we'll just do a mortality real quick. And we'll run in. Real Sonic Song, this bastard. And then you can leave. All right, Kamal now does AOE damage. Okay, shit! No, 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 no. We want, we want these. The drama trolls to die. We need the drama trolls to die. Drama trolls need to die. Drama trolls need to die. I'm gonna manually tell all these towers now. Oh, it's almost back. He's dead. Fuck. The Easterling has fallen. 
I mean, I was gonna, I was using him for his AOE damage, but second thoughts, didn't seem that worth it, honestly. Necromancer's is almost back. Uh, yeah, we'll get Sinathra because she's tanky and she can, she's got some nasty abilities. All right, despite, despite, you know, losing Necromancer, we're actually still in this thanks to these whites. Yeah, we'll put a tower there. Maybe, maybe we can cause them to run back. Look at all these beautiful whites. We are under attack. We are gonna fap. Damn, there's no one in there. Shit. Come on, whites. Literally, the whites are... Oh, God, I always said that. The whites are literally just performing a, a protective barrier at this point. <laughs> literally just a protective barrier. I love it. Look at that. Nope. Just an army of whites. It, this is the Lord of the Rings equivalent of... Did you ever see when... Uh, uh, Yugi defeated Kaiba? Defeated the Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon by just an infinite wall of Karibo? Just kind of what I'm picturing here. Uh, I'm sure everyone else was. Yes, definitely. Uh, get some hunters. We need some... Let me see. What factions have Scavenger? Misty Mountains have Scavenger. Lurts have Scavenger. Um, you know, we're, we're, I'm going to try this with Isengard afterwards, because Isengard, like, Isengard has really powerful units, I, although, mm, their final upgrade for their fortress doesn't really do damage, it's buffing your own troops, so, don't know how useful that'll be. Get in there. Alright, Necromancer is finally back. Bombadil's dead. But that's not really my fault, though. I couldn't heal him. It seems we are not wanted here. Wait for the front line. Okay, this could actually be bad. You know what, let's just see how much damage this does to Moomax, because we might as well just do it now! <laughs> oh shit! That'll do, pig. You know what, we'll save it, we'll save it. Uh, we'll get Grimball! Just because I like saying Grimple. Come on, come on, come on! This is going a lot better than Gondor, honestly. It was looking pretty bad in the beginning, but now it's going pretty well. What's the difference? All right, this is what we're going to use our thing on the Gundabad Berserkers when they show up. We'll just do this. Oh my goodness! Thank you, Risen Dead. I am your dungeon master. I'll take these. I'll take all of them, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can leave. Dude, Doggle Door is the way to go. Because Doggle Door... Oh my god, and this... They're, and they're pikemen. So the stone trolls just died instantly. Oh, yes. Okay, it's all it's all about time and that, that convert allegiance ability. So we killed the stone trolls instantly. The worms aren't going to last long. What I'm a little worried about is when they're not on our side. We just need to keep making towers. Quit your babbling. Yeah, we can turn you into stuff. I'm sure you're... No, no, they're not nearly wounded enough. Look at this, the whites again, just pro just proving to be an impenetrable barrier of doom. I should get my heroes in closer, so they can actually get some XP. And it seems that the Arnold wave has showed up, which... Not gonna lie, is a bit of a dick move. Not gonna lie, bit of a dick move. 
No, I don't want you to bombard. Oh shit, and here come the trebuchets. Please, no, please, no. This is. See, Bombadil Sonic Song would insta kill those. I have an idea. This is gonna backfire spectacularly. No! Fuck's sake, I. I fucked up. That's twice the Necromancer's dead. This will slow. There we go. There we go, hit that one. Uh, okay. I think it's I think it's I think I think it's the Arnold wave that makes or breaks a run, honestly. And she's got no Alright, hunters, it's all up to you now. Safeguard the shade. Your cannon fodder. Go to the back. If we can't get this trebuchet, we're, we're gonna lose. Maybe some broken rabble from Gondabad. Think we're in trouble. Yeah, these whites are gonna get it. There's also the Palantir, dude. How the hell are we supposed to kill him? Don't you leave, us alone? leave us alone! Shit! This damn trebuchet we leave me alone! Oh. It was going so well! Oh. Yeah. I think once you memorize the waves, then you can learn to prioritize which ones to convert. I think I was right to use my convert on the uh, Berserkers. But maybe should have saved, um, should have saved Necromancer's ultimate for the Arnold wave. I completely forgot about the Arnold wave. But yeah, anyway, this was a little insight into Thran's Fortress Defense. Have you tried it? What do you guys think? Uh, what strategies have you used? I'm going to uh, probably post another one, actually, because I wanted to try it with Isengard, as I said. Um, and hey, I might try it with the good old dwarves. Anyway, next video will probably be Fortress Defense, so uh, look, keep an eye out for that. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.